You want to be a blockchain developer? You want to enter the blockchain ecosystem and develop smart contracts? You are even thinking of doing smart contracts, audits and earning a living in this sector. But let me guess, you don't know where or how to start, right? Well, you are in the right place. Hi everyone, I am Elif and I work at Chainlink Labs as a DevRel engineer. Okay. I'm sure you have done a lot of research on this and have an idea on how to become a blockchain developer. To be honest with you, I am going to offer you a different approach. Because before diving into Solidity and blockchain, I believe this is really important to understand how the computer works actually. Therefore, I think the best roadmap to get started is this. The basics of computer science include understanding how computer process information, the fundamentals of algorithms, and um, the role of programming language, then the internet. For example, do you know how to communicate with computers? Do you know how, how, how the internet works actually? The internet is essentially a network of networks, include IP address, DNS, protocols like HTTP and HTTPS, moving on shell programming, some basic Unix and Linux comments. We need to learn and we need to start with this actually, that's my opinion. Next up, algorithms and data structures include arrays, linked lists, stacks, trees, hash tables, variables, functions, then web development, HTML for structure, CSS for styling, and of course JavaScript for interactivity. Then we have React. I am sure you are asking this question to yourself. Do I really need to learn web development for blockchain? You don't have to. This is my opinion. It might seem unnecessary or a waste of time, but having a solid understanding of these technologies will significantly accelerate your progress in the blockchain world as well. Let me give you a secret. Don't tell anyone about it. Many decentralized applications require a strong web development background. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. I'm just saying, you know, we both know. You decide. Finally, let's get into blockchain, where the demand is high and opportunities are endless. For example, high salaries, exciting projects like Chainlink, of course, <laughs> then chance to shape the future of industries like finance, gaming, education, and even art. And the best thing, the best thing is you have the opportunity to work remotely from anywhere in the world. Here. Maybe you are wondering about the difference between traditional applications and decentralized applications as well. Traditional applications rely on decentralized databases, which means all your data is stored in one place. In contrast, decentralized applications run on blockchain, which is decentralized. This means no single point of control, greater security and transparency. <laughs> For developers, this shift means thinking differently about data management and user interactions. Instead of usernames and passwords, you will be dealing with private keys and cryptographic security. And it means new opportunities. Just look at that. For example, you got into computer science, which I mentioned about, right? And you learn technical terminology and algorithms. You want to improve yourself in blockchain. Which skills should you have? First off, I think a solid foundation in programming is a must. You have to. If you know language like JavaScript or Python, you're off to a good start actually. But you will also need to pick up blockchain specific language like Solidity for Ethereum, Arbitrum or Avalanche ecosystem. Or maybe you can learn Viper. We have Viper as well. This is another language for Ethereum smart contract. For other blockchain platforms like Solana, Rust and Go are great choices. Rust is used in projects like Solana. And Go, Go is used in projects like Hyperledger because it is efficient and easy to use. This is what they say. <laughs> And of course, there's JavaScript or TypeScript as well. With libraries like web3.js and ether.js, these languages are essential for building decentralized applications and interacting with the blockchain from web applications. Knowing these languages will make you versatile and able to work across different blockchain platforms. Okay, wondering what is next now? Let's talk about the tools and frameworks that will make your life easier as a blockchain developer. What are they? Remix. 
I'm sure you are familiar with this. That's great for writing, testing smart contracts. It is perfect for beginners and experts alike. You can write your Solidity code, test it, deploy it to the Ethereum blockchain, all from one place. It works very well, I can tell. Then we have Hardhat and Foundry. They are fantastic for local development, allowing you to test and deploy contracts in a controlled environment. To be honest, Hardhat is currently the most popular IDE for blockchain development. And don't forget MetaMask. It is essential for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain directly from your browser. Okay, so what are you waiting for? Oh, there's a song like that. What are you waiting for? Love me like you do. Okay, do you need any resources? I am sure you do, or you believe that. There are tons of resources out there. Make sure to check out the Chainlink Developer Hub. It is an amazing resource with everything you need in one place. Frameworks, tools, tutorials, and much more. Head over to Chainlink Developer Hub and get started today. You will learn a lot. I would start with the educational courses actually. For example, start with some online courses. Platforms like Siphon Updraft, Coursera, YouTube, to be honest, Patrick is the best one. And some chaining resources. We have boot camps, quick starters, developer tutorials, guides, and more. Let me tell you what you should do right now. I think you need to just write and deploy simple smart contracts using tools like Remix and Hardhat. That's all. Hands-on practice is everything. You need to do this. You need to experience this. And I think you should join the community as well. Especially the Chainlink community is the best community. It is a best learning place where curious and enthusiastic people and determined people with similar goals can share knowledge. Then you should participate in hackathons and contribute to open source projects. That's all you need that's all you are ready to go that's all it's all about learning practicing doing experiencing and connecting with others in the field in this ecosystem apply for blockchain developer jobs look for grants to fund your projects or even start your own project doesn't matter if you're already in a development role consider transitioning to a blockchain focused position by leveraging your new skills you have new skills right now Remember to subscribe to Chainlink's channel for more videos like that. And happy coding everyone. I hope to see you again soon.